unsentimental. We had to do a personal project and I kind of started thinking about you know my past and everything and I really uh, I it's, I, I remember. I remember a lot from when I was small, few years old, let's say, and we had to go to my dad's site, countryside, uh, family house, and my grandfather had the, had the chickens, all different kind of animals, let's say. But I really enjoyed. I don't know, looking at the chickens. I don't know, chasing them or whatever. You know, living on the farm, you as well, you 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 see how the chicken, you, somebody will say kill the chicken, especially in the 80s. They just you, you you could buy the chicken the shops, but it was like easier when you have a chicken in the house to just kill the chicken and cook them. So I remember I was watching my grandfather, let's say, killing the chicken or a cow or something. It was very very kind of natural for me, and so this kind of death and. La uh, and, and and beauty is kind of um, kind of on the same level, I would say, f f what's actually attractive to me. It was funny because the wasp was, you know, a tiny little, you know, animal, and then I, I um, noticed that they start draw really, really tiny, the same way as the, the same, almost the same size as a as a wasp. Where before I would, you know, draw really big, big, you know, big pieces, very kind of, um, I don't know, gesture. So, and yeah, I did it that. I'm, I kind of, I like round shapes, like I said, lava lamp, all the kind of fluid shapes and. Um, but I like structure, I like buildings as well, I like sharp edges, so I try to link everything all together. That's why, let's say, uh, I was doing the a prompt tail, so it's a bit round, but you still have the kind of uh, structure and the way how prompt tail works and uh, folds and everything, that's what I find interesting. Um, like I did, let's say, a hanging glove. I, I chopped the, you know, household red glove. I chopped it up, um, and then I stick the tortellini with that and just hanged it. And I like the way it, 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 it was hanging down and all different shapes when I actually push it around. So and I did a few photographs from that and was really happy with it. So I enjoy that. Um, but then I did. You know, I had the round shapes, and then I did a little bit of drawing from them, where I I was looking for edges, for structure, forms. So there are two opposite things, you know, somewhere. But I like drawing them together as one. Um, so. What is very important as well in this level six course is that you have um, all different variety of people with a little bit of experience in art. Some of them finished as their study, let's say a few years ago, on um, university, art universities, or some of them had um, maybe work in some companies, but all of them had a little bit, little flick with art, you know, that kind of way. It was nice actually to work with all of these people because they always ha has a different point, all of them had a different point of view and produce really nice, really nice work. And they all, they, they, we can kind of help each other. Let's say somebody had the more experience in oil painting and I wouldn't have, you know, I would have zero, so that person would help me a little bit. And the conversation is very, it's some of the conversation will be very interesting about art or, I don't know, let's say even the movie that somebody would watch the uh, night before and then would that would, would, uh, would create really nice conversation as well. Um, things like that or even little, you know, silly chat is interesting though, so that's it.